Okay, hi everyone. I'm not, I think we're live on in our group. It takes a minute, so I wasn't sure. Hi everyone, this is Arjit. I had promised um, training on Agile. Um, so this is the, our intro video for Agile. My top so you guys can hear me a little bit better. All right. Hey everyone, uh, this is Arjit. You guys are watching me live in the Business Analyst In Demand a Facebook group. Uh, you may be watching this on the YouTube channel as well. We typically um, provide live training in this group and then um, I load it on YouTube for easy accessibility for everyone. So with that said, um, in the group, we've been talking about Agile. There's been lots of requests for Agile training. So um, I wanted to today start talking and giving you guys an intro. And then in the um, next coming weeks or so, we'll build on this topic, okay? So Agile is the buzzword, right? Lots of companies are moving towards Agile, um, Agile uh, methodologies. So what does that mean? That means that you have to remember that um, whether you're working in Agile or Waterfall, you're still developing IT systems or products, right? So lots of times, um, if you don't have um, IT um, software development background in Waterfall or any other methodologies, it may be very, very confusing for you to understand Agile. And because it's confusing, it's something that um, you may not feel comfortable with. So um, I grew up, my background, um, 15 years of uh, experience in software development lifecycle as a business analyst and a project manager, even a program manager. I grew up with Waterfall. So if you understand how to develop IT systems and software solutions, moving to Agile is a different framework. It's just a different mindset. Um, so whenever I teach Agile, I compare it to Waterfall because that's what I grew up in. And it's easier to understand Agile once you understand the framework of how IT systems are built and created. So today, what I'm gonna do is cover waterfall and how agile is different on the surface. In the coming weeks, we'll cover you know, more about um, the ceremonies and all that, that stuff that you probably already have read about and know about already. But what I'm gonna do is bring more context around it, um, explaining to you why those things are important, comparing those to waterfall or any other software development methodology. Okay, so as a start, growing up, growing up with Waterfall, um, I've had a firm understanding of how to develop IT systems and solutions. So you typically with Waterfall start with planning, right? Then you go into analysis, that's where you document your requirements, then you go into your design, then you go into your coding or development phase, and then um, you go into your testing, and then you roll the product out. In Waterfall, typically our projects were six months to 18 months, um, you know, just because we had to go through each individual phase, complete it, and then move on to the next phase, right? In Agile, you're kind of following the same process, but in smaller iterations. And what that means is you're doing planning and you're doing analysis and you're doing design and development and testing and releasing um, code maybe in two to four weeks instead of waiting for 18 months. Now, because you're delivering code in smaller chunks, it's not 100% ready to market it when you're delivering it in two to four weeks, right? There's a small functionality that's developed, ready to test and give the users the ability to play around with it while we're working on the next iteration of the sprint, right? Or the next um, iteration of the functionality. So that's the biggest difference um, to understand is in Waterfall, you go through each of the phases, um, or typically two to three month cycles, right? Because you wanna complete that phase before you move on to the next phase. But in Agile, you're doing everything that you would in a Waterfall, but in smaller chunks. So if you understand that concept, um, understanding the, the buzzwords or the ceremonies or the titles that come with Agile will become a lot simpler for you guys, okay? So I think that's enough for today. Um, this is an intro to Agile. Um, the biggest thing to remember is that you're still developing software, IT software solutions or systems or products, right? So you do need to have a firm understanding of how IT systems are built, right? 
before you can just jump in and understand agile. So if you understand, if you have background in waterfall or any other methodology, agile becomes much, much easier to understand and implement. But if you have no background in IT software development, then I would encourage you guys to learn waterfall because um, it's a very structured approach. And if you can understand the structured approach of building IT projects or systems, then you have an easier time understanding Agile. So that's my recommendation to you. And we'll end this training, this short um, training um, with that. And then next week we will build on Agile. Um, I hope you like this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm always looking for feedback um, and suggestions on training topics. So if you have any other uh, suggestions for me for training topics, also please leave them in the comments and I'll see you around. See ya, bye.